Hello there, today I'll be showing you how to make an efficient melon farm by gathering melons first. Picture this, you're in a jungle, just pretend this is a jungle guys, it's not actually a jungle. And just, you see melons lying all, all the way around you. So just like, take an axe and harvest them, or harvest them with your bare fist. An axe is more efficient because it's an axe. It'll harvest like, three times faster I suppose. And then what we have then is to convert these melons into seeds by putting them into the crafting bar. Just like one melon equals to one melon seed. And now we have two different types of farm. We have this type of farm, which is a two block wide farm. And we have a four block wide farm. The two block wide farm is considered as a universal melon farm by many people. And essentially, most YouTubers will actually make these in their Minecraft survival videos. I haven't seen one that didn't. So yeah, universal farm. And right here is the new version, which is a four block wide farm. And basically what this does is it saves more space while generating the same melon output. So let's say I seeded down all the melons into this area. and then bone meal them. These melons would grow to the right because we all know the melon dynamics, right? I suppose. Over here though, you can plant in the center row, and the center row is two blocks wide, and the melons will grow out on either side, thus consuming space, or rather conserving space. I don't know why I said consuming. Just an idea that popped in my head. So, what happens now is you bone meal it. Melons will grow out on either side. This conserves space by actually allowing less water lines to be placed in between those individual rows. So if you have a, basically, a four block wide melon farm piece right here and you had to separate it with one row of water, it's going to be a lot easier than separating a two block wide melon farm piece with one row of water every single time. It's a pretty nifty trick to know if you're into survival. If you play in worlds with your friends like me, it's a big advantage to have a lot of melons growing at your farm. And having a melon farm with like more space or more and more space and more more melon output then your friends will definitely be a big advantage because obviously if you have more melons you're less likely to starve to death and I don't like starving to death I like to be full because your health will regen so yeah that's the basics how to make a melon farm I'm sure there are many other ways of making a melon farm but as of right now I consider this to be the most efficient melon farm way and my friend, who's somewhere around here, I have no idea where he is, favors this little, little two block wide farm, which is why he sucks so much. So yeah, and no, making your horse built, making your horse like with diamond armor is not going to make you cool, man. Okay. What? All right. I'm just showing these guys how to make a melon farm. That's all. Sorry for the disrespectful attitude there, but my friend obviously does not want to cooperate with me. So yeah, I'll have to end this right here. Hope you guys learned something. See you later.